Hey guys, what's up? We're back into the forest. So, they updated it again for uh, 0 0.08c now. And, of course, now we have to restart. They just changed a few major bugs I guess people were having, like... Um, uh, I guess some the candles were glowing, characters were glowing... Uh, I didn't see anything like that myself. A uh, couple other things. They added a new... The only thing I really noticed that was useful to me was... Uh, a new animation for the skinny cannibals. Like another new one, I guess. Um, well, at least we weren't too far in to our nonsense here. Um, we gotta figure where I am here first. I think we're just gonna start. Oh, we gotta head over to the beach, don't we? Oh yeah, yeah. Let me figure out where I am first. I want to get that epic fort build back up and running, cause we are getting low on days. I said I'm not gonna go past episode 30 for this season. Um, I think 30 is a good cutoff line. Don't really see any point in going any further than that for this update. Um, I'm way over here. This sucks. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll just, oh yeah, we need the other axe, don't we? Oops, that's not what I meant to press, but anyways. So yeah, they're just, because the next update is supposed, supposedly supposed to be a co-op, as they said on the forums, they said 0 0.09 would be is there planned co-op uh, if nothing major happens but with this game it seems like a lot of major things happen so I'm kinda like 50-50 on that happening uh, they did work out a lot of bugs so that's pretty good we'll have to see though we'll know in like 10-ish more days I'm sure if we if it's coming or not um, that brings another question to mind is actually I should say first if you didn't know if you don't own the forest and you really want to own it uh, it's on sale right now I think it's like 33% off till Monday well today would be Monday but uh, I think it might be still on sale today if you really want it I think it's like 11 12 dollars ish um, yeah it might not work for your system now but I'm sure down the road uh, like say you have like a bug or something where you can't play it it might be possible to play it later on down the road it's still early alpha so if you want to get it for cheap today would be the day to do it probably it's up to you um, another problem is the co-op if they add co-op is it going to be like online co-op or is it because they didn't say multiplayer they just said co-op so pvp is probably not a thing and is that going to be like just land co-op like with people that live in the same house as you over the same router ish kind of thing no internet required or is it going to be like a internet sort of deal should I start here now nah, we should really go get our stuff and then we can come back we will just head this way into the woods Another thing is, am I going to have somebody to play this with? Because it's going to be hard to do this daily with, with a somebody. I don't know anybody else that does the Force daily, so who's going to want to play the Force every day with me? Is the question. And, hmm. I just don't know how it's going to work. Is it going to be server-based, or is it going to be like something like Hamachi? You have to like connect to the other person's IP. I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that want to play the Force with me. Uh, I was thinking maybe Nuke, but I don't know if he's going to be around daily, because I haven't even been able to play seven days with him lately. So, we'll have to see about that. And is it going to be like, you play on your save file, or is it going to be like, a joint save file or 
I could email them and ask them. But I don't think they'd respond. I don't think they check their email that often. I don't know. Like, single players on the forest is really nice because I can just play it whenever I want to. I don't have to wait for anybody. I don't have to be disappointed that nobody shows up. Kind of deal. It's just on my own time. I could do maybe like a buy daily co op single player kind of deal. I'm not sure if that doesn't work out. I'm not really sure. If you have any ideas on how I could possibly do this, or if you know how it's going to work, uh, let me know. Send me a link or something to where it says how it's going to work. Some flares. I'm just a little eerie on that multiplayer. It's the people side of it's going to be the problem, I think. If I could find somebody decent to play with, with a decent microphone, daily, now that would be perfect. And if it's a sort of deal like someone has to host and you have to join them, I'd have to find somebody else to host because I don't really want to host. Because my internet sucks at hosting anything. I'm fine joining, but when I'm hosting, it's bad. I don't know. We'll have to see. I know a few people I can ask. Um, is that a stone? Yeah. Do I have all my stuff still? Okay. Wait, where did I get a head from? Seeds. Seems like some of the stuff... I don't know. Anyways, another thing to add is if that, uh, since you can't, in previous updates, whenever you would try to load your old save, the game would just kind of crash. Um, now if you click load and the save game's not compatible, it'll automatically put you in the plane. As you've seen. Like, I clicked load and it took me to the... Oh, he's doing, like, some kind of, like, Smeagol kind of sneaking kind of thing. So they must just walk hunched over now? Is that like the new animation? I know they ran and crawled, but I didn't know they, they were hunched over. I tried to do the one hit KO, but not sneaky enough apparently. I still don't even know how to do that. This guy's just standing there. I'm just trying to figure out how co-op would work. Like, There's not enough content to really do co-op, I wouldn't think. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. I guess we'll know in like 10 days or so. Uh, if you know any new information, maybe um, just let me know. Post in the comments. Any information I'm not aware of would be really interesting. I'd love to know where the cassette tapes are. I actually looked it up because I couldn't find them. And nobody really seems to care, so I guess I'm on my own for that. I assume they're down in the caves, but they're so tiny you wouldn't be able to really even see them. Oh, thank god the boat's close. Let's open up some briefcases. I think we're going to start our epic fort build tomorrow. Um, if you want, you can give me some topics to talk about while we build and stuff. That'd be pretty cool. Something you wanted to maybe ask, a Q&A almost. Or I can just keep rambling on about the same old, same old. You know, just whatever comes to mind. <laughs> that rock bounce like super high. Another cool feature I think that'd be really interesting is if they added rock skipping. If that like bounced on the water a few times. Depends on what angle you throw it at, maybe it bounces more. That'd be really interesting. The physics for that would probably be really weird and broken. Um so let's try to get to the boat. Wait, I didn't even grab the modern axe. Let's grab that first. That's like a main thing that I came over here for. I want the cassette tape too. That's going to help us build. When we go to build next episode. Uh, see, the only two people I really play games with is Smashly and Nuke Dude 93 or whatever. And she's gone for till like December. She's coming back for like a day in December, but so she's kind of like gone. Just sad, but 
life goes on. And Nuke, he, I think he'll be on it quite a bit. We'll see. I'll have to ask him. Then there's obviously, like, it depends on how it's going to work, you know? Like, if there's, like, open servers, that'd be pretty cool. And then I could join maybe a server with some people, and I'm sure somebody's bound to buy their own server. Um, I guarantee one of you guys probably will buy your own server that I can maybe join. Kill these birds while I'm waiting. The sharks to go away. Um, come on, go away, shark. Okay, let's go for it now. That was like the worst timing ever. Okay, okay, okay. We, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, didn't even see e that one. Okay, okay, okay. We're almost to the rock. I think we're safe, we're safe. They can't come in this close. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Is that rain? Hmm, that was rain. Okay, now we can head back over there. Set up our little temporary shelter. Uh, should open up as many of these as possible since we're not going to be near any. Uh, we should get as much uh, candy bars and such as we can. Because I just want to build. Like, I just want to go at it and... Until I get some locations of different things uh, on this island. I got the cassette player, right? Yeah, okay. See, I got cassette number one. These are what I was looking for. I'm looking for cassettes two and three and however many there is. And I just want to find them because that's a really cool feature. Any game where you have to go searching for stuff is just amazing to me. Like, that's what draws people to certain games, you know, like, um... Look at Zelda, all the different weapons and items you get. You get to go find them, right? And throughout the game, and then it unlocks new possibilities for little hidden secrets and dungeons. And, you know, it's just obviously this game doesn't do that quite yet, but it could. You know, like, maybe you have to, like, eventually find a pickaxe or something. Like, pickaxes have kind of been done to death, but I would prefer, like, a hammer for breaking rocks or something in this game. Just because I'm kind of tired of pickaxes in every game to break rocks. Go back to like Harvest Moon, <laughs> it was always a hammer. That'd be pretty interesting. Oh, lots of candy bars. Like, instead of having the stone axe, just have like the, the stone hammer instead. They can break rocks, maybe. I don't know, I don't think they'll ever plan on making these rocks breakable, but... I don't know what they're planning. They could add new rocks in that maybe break into more smaller rocks and I'm not really sure like what they plan to do with this game, like building wise. They... I don't know if they plan to make it like a massive building game or if they just plan on making it more of a survival um kind of defend your small wooden base kind of game. I don't know what they have planned for that. Like, I obviously people love building, like, uh, games that have building, like Minecraft and Seven Days to Die are really popular games, and it'd be silly not to uh, take advantage of that side of it and draw more people in. I mean, to me, games that update with new content, like Alpha, obviously Alpha is like the main thing I'm talking about here. Alpha games are just so amazing to me, like, I didn't really... Um, get into alpha games until like the forest, but alpha games are so much different than a game you get from the store. You go to the store, you buy the game, you beat it, and you're done. There's some maybe DLC, but I'm not a fan of DLC myself. I think it's kind of annoying. Um, unless it's free DLC, then it makes sense to me, but um, and but alpha games, it's like they update and it's just like playing a whole new game once they update it's like well, most of the time and it's just like DLC for every update I don't know it just seems much more fun you can play a game for so much longer playing through the updates some people don't play for like 
some people don't have played the forest since update like four and now they're playing it again with all this new features me myself I've been playing every update as you've seen um, I really wish I started my YouTube channel when the game first came out um, I never even considered it actually I didn't even know about the game till like alpha 2 so which I know alpha 1 was extremely broken you couldn't even save but still it would have been nice to make I probably have a lot more subscribers and viewers by now if I started at that stage. Um, but yeah. I know Alpha 2 had a lot of uh, inventory saving problems. You'd have to like dump your inventory with a mod <laughs> to get it back. And stuff like that. Uh, let me just check the time here. Oh, God. We're gonna barely have time to start a base, but at least we got a good chat in today. Got some important things out there, you know. Games on sale, and I'm only saying that because I know a lot of people like want the game, and I just thought I'd mention that it's on sale. I know a lot of you guys just own the game already. But for those of you who like wanted it but can't afford it, like myself, if I was, if you're just low on money like myself, and then you can maybe afford it maybe now that it's like five dollars cheaper um i just thought i'd throw that out there for whoever you know wanted to know eh, throw that rock so i think we're just gonna build a stick shelter like it's getting really dark uh, we went through an entire day we might get like a tiny outline done. Eh. Let's go play salt after this. And get that all done and over with. Because I want to start uploading early. Because for some reason YouTube's doing extra slow today. I'm trying to get Don't Starve up for you guys yesterday. I don't know what happened there, but. It just was taking forever. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, shelter. It's being weird. Sometimes YouTube, I find it has like high and low moments. Uh, I find nighttime is the best, but last night it was just. That's why I usually upload at night, because I find it's faster at night. Uh, for YouTube, I don't know. Could be just me. I find YouTube at night goes faster. Plus, my internet gets reset at midnight, and I get like a major speed boost every day. So, it's usually the best time for me to put stuff up. Then again, it's also good for me to play d games at midnight, too. But I don't know. Okay, so now we got that built. Should sleep. That was extremely dark. Oh my god. <laughs> that was like almost pitch black. Sun is rising. Uh, let's get like the outline going so I can like... I haven't decided what I'm going to do next episode if I'm going to just cut down a bunch of trees ahead of time. Or not. Let's go 3x3 three three again. Though, if we did 2x2, two two, we could go a lot higher, a lot faster. So I think we're going to do that instead. If you don't like that idea... Oh, nuts. They're checking out my shelter. If you don't like this idea, I apologize. I just think it would be a lot more fun. We can get it going a lot more higher. I'm not trying to take an easy way out here. I'm just trying to get the better way out. I think this might actually work better for us. I think we can go up a lot higher if we do two by two. Um, if it'll let me place it. Oh, what, what, what are they doing? Stop. Just come on, put it down. I want to see this. I don't want to manually place it. <gasps> just did it. It just clicked. What are they doing? Try to get I want to see a raccoon climb a tree. What? Did they like praying or something though? Carl and two two elders. Oh shoot! 
Oh my god, why is there so many? Starmeister for life. <laughs> Let's go save quickly. <laughs> One frame. Oh my god. Okay, now we can save. <laughs> We're gonna try to take these guys out. If I die, I die. Oh. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot here. Jeez. You have seen it here, people. <laughs> Star Meister is meisting with the stars. Okay, they're like launching me like crazy. What is wrong with this? I've never seen so much launching in my life that all of them are doing it. Usually it's only like the females. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, 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 I don't think I can fight these guys with this launching this. I'll fight to the death. And that's going to end the episode today. Thank you for watching. Uh, anyways, yeah, I just wanted to fight till the end there. I wasn't going to waste my healing stuff for that. That was ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, hit that like button if you enjoyed the episode today. Uh, leave a comment down below. And subscribe, maybe share this video on Facebook or something. Show your friends, maybe help join the Star Clan. Them join the Star Clan or something. And that's all I'm going to say, so Star Meister out.